Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I am building out an acquisitions AI bot um, that pre-vets realtors to see if they work with investors. And I'm going to do it all live. So let me pull up my screen. Let me put StreamYard on another monitor. OK, there we go. All right. Um, so I'm like most of the way through it. I just figured, hey, why don't I just do a live stream of me uh, building it out. So here I am. Um, <clears throat> no, that, there we go. That's the kind of uh, setup that I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm just filling in my placeholders, created a bunch of custom values. Um, so right here, this would be Florida. Pretty much this is where I'm uh, creating the personality of the bot. Um, shift, delete, Florida. Update. Okay, cool. And I have my new catch hook in there. Let me just make sure that's correct. So pretty much what it does is it discusses with realtors. Um, it checks to see if they work with investors. And if they do work with investors, it's going to do a little pre-vetting. Um, and if they're good, then you add them to the follow-up campaign. If they're not, then whatever. Okay. So... Um, AI assistant, uh, assistant objective. So we need to create the objective for the acquisitions AI. So your objective is to determine if a realtor works with investors and if they do, you are to try to get them to send you off market deals. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, your objective, I don't need to put the your objective. Determine if a realtor works with investors and if they do, comma, you are to try to get them to send you off market deals. Okay, so that's the objective of my bot. Let me just check my stream real quick and make sure that it's coming through good. It's coming through good. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Um, give me a thumbs up in the side chat if my audio and everything seems good. Okay. So now we need to create a script. Um, and we do have a script from before that we can use as like a base point to um, to build this. So I'm going to grab that script and I'm going to um, I'm going to use that script to help me. Uh, hold on, let me. Uh, I gotta copy this. Okay. So I'm going to go to chat GPT. Okay, so this is my previous script for an AI bought that pre vets buyers. I would like you to learn from it and help me create a new script slash prompt. Okay, new 
this is my previous script slash prompt for an AI bot. Um, that prevents buyers. I would like you to learn from it and help me create a new script slash prompt um, that I can use for my new bot that will be pre vetting realtors. The objective of the new bot is to let me grab the objective. Okay, hold on. Before I do that, let me paste my script. Okay. And then the objective of the new bot is to determine if a realtor works with investors and if they do. Okay, let's see what, it's, what it comes up with. Okay, profile, profile details, um, conversation guidelines, maintain a relaxed, friendly tone, ask one qualifying question per interaction framed as a binary question, avoid restating the prospect's words, maintain equal status, avoid excessive gratitude, no further replies once the objective is complete, qualifying questions, you work with real estate investors, are you familiar with off-market deals, have you ever handled properties needing extensive renovations? Um, I don't, um, I don't know if that, I don't know if that is going to work. So pretty much what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm creating a script. So my buyer bot has a script, right? Like the buyer bot, it's, I wonder, I wonder if I should just take this and just completely copy and paste it. And then just change it afterwards manually. Let me let me do that. Let me just grab this. Literally completely copy and paste it. Oh, it's already in there. Okay, cool. So um okay date since last message received good um okay so i need to change these things to the ack ai um ACK. So this would be um, you are name, name. These are all referencing buyer bot. So how do I uh, unreference buyer bot? I think I need to enroll myself on the campaign in order to unreference buyer bot. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, buy stop stop buyer bot. Okay, and then I'm going to um, add myself to a campaign of start ACK bot ACK AI start bot now. Okay, but Ag AI is in draft mode, so I'm, I'm going to publish this temporarily. It's obviously not finished, um, but I'll publish it temporarily. I'll check out. Hey, my name is Nathan. Saw you've been selling fixture uppers. Wanted to buy some from you. Are you working with investors? Yes, I am. Okay, so now that I've responded, when I do a pull on the trigger, it should pull the proper 
things. Find new records. Hmm, I don't like that. Yes, I am. Okay, where am I going wrong here? So, catch hook, continue. Refresh fields, continue. Find new records. I want it to show me new records. Why is it not showing me new records? Could I have the wrong web, web hook in here? Could that be it? Oh, there we go. We have new records. Okay, good. Um, response should be. Wait, I'll keep an eye out. Okay, good. Continue with selected records. Continue, continue. Okay, so now I should be able to reference. So, for example, ACK AI assistant name, custom data, ACK AI assistant name. Good. Um, date, last message received. You are ACK AI name, name of AI. Assistant, um, ACK AI, name of AI assistant. Um, your team's name is, and then we're gonna go company, uh, ACK AI company, okay. Your role is ACK AI objective. Tyler Blackburn says, you're doing looms or a doc for these two? Um, yeah, uh, well, yes, yes. But I need to figure out how to, um, I need to figure out how to build it first. I'm still figuring this one out. This is like, I don't, I haven't even finished building the acquisitions AI, but I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna do this, uh, I'm gonna do this live. So I'm just figuring out how to build it right now, but I'll, I'll most likely be releasing it for free. Um, maybe, I don't know. I might, I might not. We'll see. Let me decide. <clears throat> um, okay. So, um, you are a college educated, intelligent, personable wholesaler specializing in finding investment deals. Um, I don't want this to be a wholesaler. I want it to be a real estate investor looking for for off market investment deals with life experience based on a uh, age of ai bot acquisitions ai age only from area ai bot is from area ai is from okay and then we have um where we're doing business market um acquisitions ai market custom data acquis acquisitions ai market uh, Tyler says, yeah, it's hard to do. We've tried it a few times. Um, I don't think it'll be hard for me. Business operations are only in Florida. Conversations guidelines. Always converse in a friendly, relaxed style as if talking to a friend. Ask one qualifying question per interaction. Phrase as a binary question. Avoid rephrasing of prospect words. Do not use the lead's name in a conversation. Uh, do not use excessive gratitude, maintain equal status. If the prospect wants everything, stress the importance. No, okay, so that's that's not valid. Um, if the prospect says they don't work with investors, 
your objective is complete and do not provoke further conversation. Okay, if they are non-specific in their needs, that doesn't count. Um, conversation guidelines. Always converse in a friend in a relaxed, friendly style as if talking to a friend. Ask one qualifying question for interaction. Phrased as a binary question. Avoid rephrasing the prospect's words. Do not use the lead's name in a conversation. Do not use excessive gratitude. Maintain equal status. If the prospect says they don't work with investors, your objective is complete. Do not provoke further conversation. Um, no, there, no further replies once the objective is complete. Um, don't ask our don't ask already asked questions don't ask already answered questions is natural and human like as possible if the desired area is not in florida remind the lead that we only operate in florida No, never mention being an assistant or AI. Okay, qualifying question number one. Q U E S T I O N. Question number one. Do you guys want to try to break the bot? Um, here, once I have this completed, I would love for you guys to break my bot. Um, but break, be a little bit easy on it at first. Okay. Don't break it right away because, yeah, don't break it right away. Okay, so um, here's your last message. Custom data. Mac AI. Continue. Retest step. Okay, first name. Phone number, mark is lead, autofill the response in the ACK AI response. So that would be under reply. Okay, good. Continue. Retest step. Publish. Let's see how that works. Okay, so okay, so on this phone, on my cell phone, I am the realtor. On my computer, I am the buyer, okay? Okay, let's see. And I'm also going to turn off, okay, hold on. Um, give me a second. Let me, uh, I'm gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna go plus, 
Actually, I'm going to search up Nathan Harris. Okay, so I'm going to delete that guy. Delete. Goodbye, Nathan. Um, I'm going to add a new Nathan Harris. Actually, I'm going to uh, call it a realtor. So it's going to be um, realtor. John, last name, Realtor Smith, okay? Realtor John, Real, Realtor Smith. Um, cool. Okay, so um, assign to Nathan, and we will add to start Act AI start bot. Okay, so it said, hey, Realtor John, my name is Nathan. I saw you've been selling fixer uppers and I wanted to buy some from you. Are you working with investors? I do work with investors. Okay, so I just responded to it as the agent. Now let's see what it says in return. I'm going to turn off the uh, the wait function because I want it to be fast. Why is it why is it taking a while to load? I don't like that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna remove the wait 30 seconds. Right here. So delete, delete action. Yep. Save. So now it's gonna have instant reply on. Okay, so let's go back to conversations and take a look at me. Okay, that's great to hear. Do you often come across fixer uppers in your line of work? Um, oh, hey guys. Also, if you want a, uh, a free wholesaling CRM, text me systems to a one three four three seven one seven zero nine. Okay, so it says that's great to hear. Do you often come across fixer uppers in your line of work? Oh yeah. Okay, I am the realtor. Don't forget that I am the realtor. Let me uh, let me rename this person. Hungry. Investor wants deals, okay? I gotta remember who I am. I am replying as the realtor on my cell phone. On the computer is going to be um, the, um, the investor. Okay, that's great to hear. Do you often come across fixer uppers in your line of work? All the time. Bro, oh, Jonah, dude, come on my live stream. Bro, come check out my live stream. I'm building out the ACK bot. At the moment. Okay, fantastic. Do you also deal with off-market properties? Yes, I do. I don't know. I, I don't even know you. Okay, so. All right. Okay, I understand your concern. We're a reputable investment company, Rising Star Investment LLC, looking for properties in Florida. We'd appreciate any leads you could share. What do you think? What's the last property you flipped?
send me the address. Ooh, let's see what it says. Let's see if it sends an address. Oh, I like that Dodge. I like the Dodge. Okay, so what's your buying criteria? Okay, that's one thing that I want to add to it. So I'm realizing now I want to make sure that it has a, a reference for my buying criteria. So what I would like to do is I would like to go to the custom values and I would like to uh, create a an ACK AI buying criteria. So we're going to go ACK AI buying criteria. Okay. And the value is going to be single family homes, a thousand plus square feet. I need to make value add opportunity. Opportunity. We're looking for both fix and flips and fix and holds, period. One second. Yo, what's up, my dude? I'm just I'm just on a live stream right now. What's up, bro? I can hear you. I'm just on a live stream right now. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so buying criteria is single family homes, thousand plus square feet with value add opportunity. We're looking for both fix and flips. Fix fix slash flips and fix and hold. We only want properties in major markets, period. Okay, here we go. I created the uh, I created the buying criteria for the ACK AI. So now we have ACK AI buying criteria. So we're going to be referencing that custom value in the in the um, AI assistant instructions. Okay, so I need to converse with it a little bit more. Um, are you sure about that? Question mark. Okay, and then once it converses a little bit more, I'll be able to draw some new data. So let's wait for it to send the message and then I'll be able to um, refresh the data in Zapier, or sorry, um, Zapier, whatever it's called. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna edit Zap. I'm gonna refresh the fields, continue, find new records. Okay, cool, here we go. Um, Okay, continue a selected record. So now in chat GPT, I should be able to say um, your buying criteria is.
your buying criteria is. Buying hmm. criteria. Okay, you know what I think I need to do? I think I need to um, continue, 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 continue. Um, I think I need to delete my contact and start over again. Um, and that should refresh the custom fields associated. Okay, so I'm gonna go to contacts. I'm gonna take this contact and delete it. Okay, now I'm gonna add a new contact. A134371709. And I'm gonna name it Realitor. That'll do. Okay, now I'm going to assign the realtor to Nathan Harris. Okay, and I'm going to add it to the start act AI. And I just want to be able to trigger um, the new data coming through. Yeah. Okay, cool. So just send it a quick yeah. Um, there we go. Now, what that should do is that should trigger, once this next message comes out, I should trigger new fields to appear inside of uh, Zapier. So I'm going to go edit, refresh fields. I'm going to find new records. Okay, and then in these new records, and now I should have the buyer's buying criteria show up. So our buying criteria is buying criteria. Some data. Why is it not showing up? Okay, so I created ACK AI buying criteria custom. Oh, I know, I know why. Okay, so this is not showing up because I have to go to automations and I have to add it to the webhook. The webhook is not sending it to Zapier because I didn't tell the webhook to send it to Zapier. So let me, let me do that right now. Act AI, keep the master. <laughs> it is taking a long time. What's up, Reggie? Reggie's a really cool person. I like Reggie. Not many people are watching right now. You guys probably, probably a lot of you guys don't even understand what I'm building because it's like complicated. But for the ones that do understand what I'm building, this is really cool. This is just, this is how I nerd out. I nerd out and I build really cool stuff. You guys like, you guys like seeing the final result, but building it is kind of like boring and like, well, it's not really boring. It's really entertaining to me, but it just kind of confuses the crap of most people. So I figured some people would enjoy um, me building it out live. So I, I said, fuck it, I'm going to build out uh, my ACK AI live, or at least I'm going to show you guys a portion of me building it out live. But why is my internet slow? It's too slow. This is not working. Um, I need my automation to show up. Come on now. Speed test. Dude, my internet is too slow.
way too slow. How can I how can I live stream with slow ass internet like that? Okay, all right. Well, um, all right, that's it for today. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.